I wish the like width of the room was one longer, one wider, but <laughs> I always have these thoughts after the fact and I'm like, well, I'm not changing it now. You can drop on the floor, just make a stockpile with nothing allowed in the spots he's dropping. Oh, that's a very clever idea. So I just do a little stockpile like this and then allow nothing and then hide it. And then it counts the baby food. Aha! That's very clever. Then we can have drop on floor and it'll still count it. So it'll count food that's there as well. Aha! That's a very... Because that's how the game counts things in stockpiles like that. It's not in a stockpile, it doesn't count it. Aha! Brilliant! Brilliant solution. Richard is fully healed. Very good. If you are fully healed and you're currently good to go, then uh, we're going to get you going. So, world. Form caravan to go to here. Mr. and Mrs. Destructoid. They actually speed up the movement. Weirdly, I thought they'd be slow. Would it be faster if we take crappy as well? Yeah, it is faster if we take crappy. So we can have crappy carry some stuff as well. Travel supplies, simple meal, raw fungus, herbal medicine. That's all fine. Don't really need anything else. Send them. I certainly don't get tired. Yeah. <laughs> True. Here we are. It's level 17 in construction. Holy moly. That construction skill though. Oof. Maybe you should have grabbed some toxic waste on your way out? Oh. I think leaving toxic waste around in other cells is like, um, uh, other factions don't like that, right? <laughs> but there could have been an interesting exper experiment. Take some toxic waste, leave it at the, uh, d the place we're going to. They only dislike it based on how close it is to their base. Ah, oh, so if you ditch it next to their base. <laughs> that's considered a, that's a considered a problem. A faux pas. Okay, apparently I sent Kiwi Gal. I didn't remember doing that. Maybe she was auto selected or something? No, weird. Oh well, I guess Kiwi Gal Kiwi Gal's going as well. We have a quest. Lowe's emergency landing. A shuttle from the Empire? Commander Lowe's wants to land at Karak in Karak. Wasters of the Venom Pest will attack the crash shuttle and attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. Lowe's two civilians and five cataphracts this time. Okay, they might actually be able to defend themselves. The commander and civilians must be rescued, but the cataphracts may be sacrificed. After eight hours, a rescue shuttle will come and pick up the survivors. You'll need them all on board. We did just send Kiwi Gal away. <laughs> I think I actually want to do this. Um, destination 0.1 days. We might be able to get them back in time before the quest expires. It's pretty short duration. Oh, it'll be close. We'll have them deal with this nice and quick. Okay, put them on escort. Here's the here's the iguanas. Get a Mr. and Mrs. Destructoid. Light them up, team. I like that you can take like a Mechanitor now and just take a bunch of robots with them to go do a quest. Putting them down. Good work, team. All right, let's go. Do you let your kids go for nature runs? Yep. They've been doing lots of nature runs, and especially uh, Digsy likes nature running in the caverns. <laughs> in the pitch black dark caverns. It's quite cool. Look at the fancy floors in here. Oh, my God. Those are some fancy floors right there. Let's blow this thing up, eh? Thankfully, I don't think it actually expo explodes. <laughs> I, th I don't think. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> All right, good. We get a little bit of materials, so we can just reform this on the... Uh... So yeah, we could have just ditched a bunch of toxic waste in here, right? Eh? That would have been pretty cool. Still three hours left. They won't get back in time. Um, but I think given the five cataphracts, they should be able to hold. The only problem is... Uh, a Sorobria can build the defenses and we have the builder bots still. We'll wait a little bit. Actually, I don't know. We might not want the caravan to like come in because they might come in on that side. They should come in on this side where they came in, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> oh, we don't know where the attack's going to go even. All right, we're going to accept and we're going to give Kiwi Gal the honor. Oh, the shuttle crash per oh, positioning is perfect. Look at these cataphracts. Good heavens. Are the Cataphracts baseliners? Uh, Hussars. Baseliner. 
Base liner. Base liner, base liner. One of them's a Husa. Look at his shooting skill, 19 shooting. God damn. This guy's got a minigun. <laughs> Is that a 15 year old with a minigun? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the minigun one? They are 15 year old teenage cataphract. <laughs> Lowe's, two civilians, five cataphracts, commander and civilians must be rescued. Here comes the raid. Tox grenades. Oh, they've all got tox grenades. This person's got a tox pack. Here's a backpack containing canisters of reagents. Generate tox gas. When the wearer activates the pack, it begins spreading tox gas. Interesting. Are these people tox resistant? Wasters. Super immunity. Pollution stimulus. Carriers of this gene get a chemical rush from being exposed to pollution. This makes them move faster and helps them think clearer. A similar gene is found in combat engineered mega insects. Ah. Gain a stat bonus is when exposed to pollution. Total antitoxic lungs. Tox gas immunity. Oh wow, okay, these are nasty. Yeah, so these ones all have tox grenades and tox packs and then they and they are actually not only uh, immune to the damage from it, but um, actually can benefit from it even. I just want to make sure my caravan's not coming in. Okay. Hopefully the civilians stay behind the wall. There goes that minigun. Lighting them up. <laughs> oh damn! This is brutal. <laughs> bringing down one of the ones that ran around. Oh yeah, I think the cataphracts had that one handled, eh? <laughs> I don't even think we needed to help them at all. <laughs> How are you guys going with that toxic build-up? Minus 5% consciousness. It's not too bad. Good work, team. <laughs> Good work. Can we capture this person? Shooting 9. Skilled labor. Ugly, ugly very neurotic. Prone to breaks. Use despised weapon. What is their, uh... Sanctism weapons? Sanctism. Flesh purity supremacist raiders. Drug use is prohibited, which doesn't really match with their, uh, biology. That's fair. Um... Noble melee pierces, despised melee blunt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Must have swung at the wind like a beer bottle or something. Black pants, black vest. Oh, we at least want their gear. I might take you home with us. I like how these guys are just sitting in the uh, toxic cloud. Oh, there's another one here too, Jane. You're another waster. Pump shotgun. We'll take some tox grenades so we can use those now too. As a, we can't use that. Some meals. Steel mace. Some, some of that action. Oh, yeah, our trader. Um, I feel like. Diggsy might go trade for us. <laughs> Should get some social practice in. <laughs> uh, send the send the ten year old to go trade for us. Hello, Mister. Would you like to trade? Would you like to buy some ducks or mushrooms? A flame bow. What is a flame bow? A simple short self bow with a load of incendiary arrows. The arrows carry fuel and an igniter. Upon impact, they spray fuel around and ignite it. What on earth? Source biotech. That's new. Must have scored that in one of the raids. Oh, they're selling it. They're selling it. Added a few new tribal weapons. Ah, cool. More interesting tribal weapons is very fun. Fire bows are so useful. Great crowd control tools. Yeah, when you set someone on fire, they uh, run around in a panic. So it's quite cool. I kind of want to buy it. I think I might. Make sure you don't have that equipped on a hunter though, huh? <laughs> you don't want that equipped on a hunter. Are you doing any happy? You need you need to go to bed pretty soon, don't you, Digsy? Just want to make sure we got maximum ale brewing. Here we go. I was on a wake-up binge. Aww. <laughs> Richard, calm her down. Where is she? Richard, intercept. I'm gonna get Digsy. He's gonna keep it away from her. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Stuck on <the> zone. <laughs> Clear all. I got. I got a plan. I got a plan. Don't do that, Kiwi girl. Don't do it. <laughs> Critical, it is of critical importance that you take this outside, Digsy. Stop Kiwi Girl from, uh. Oh, wake up, there we go. Don't let her have it. Take it away, keep it away from her. Very right, good. Calm her down, Richard. There we go. Alright. 
Good work. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. Caravan is home. Yep. Immediately went into a binge because of uh, because of <laughs> all of the drama from the caravan run running out of food. I was so hungry. I was so hungry. <laughs> Just going to meditate. That's fair. Oh, here we go. We actually have them both having a lesson. Teaching a lesson on mining. <laughs> I'll teach you the ways of digging. So you actually need one teacher per child. Wow. Better than real life. <laughs> the focus learning. It's not, it's not a classroom of 45 kids with one teacher trying to teach them. <laughs> one, one teacher per child. Damn. Imagine how well educated they're going to be and well adjusted they're going to be. <laughs> It'll, it, it, it'll maybe counteract some of the effects of living on the rim world and killing people as a child. And seeing all of the horrors that they see on a daily basis. Because of these random lessons, they get pretty... They end up being potentially pretty real-rounded colonists. Able to, like, fill in on multiple multiple different roles. Pretty, pretty cool. So you can... If we want to get more mini bit beep boops, we can um, build band nodes. We'll add one bandwidth to the Mechanitor. It costs 200 steel and 4 components so it's not cheap and I think it takes power too it takes 300 watts so they're actually quite expensive so the first six are really cheap-ish compared to what they do but then they get quite expensive after that rock and or roll festival so there's the start of it at light ball activate loudspeakers <laughs> okay <laughs> digsy reach metal oh my god the kids are fighting <laughs> this is I'm so proud I'm so proud of them look at them go <laughs> They both got a level in melee fighting. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I'm also really proud that there wasn't any bites. Well done, both of you. Oh my god, Dixie's nose was shattered. <laughs> he broke her nose off. Holy shit. I'm so proud of them both. <laughs> time to make a time to make a prosthetic nose. <laughs> make an unofficial nose. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna have a steel nose. Used to cover where the missing nose was on the face. No, nose prosthesis. Big nose, <laughs> basically. Oh, bulk goods trader. Oh, oh, oh bulk goods trader. Bulk goods trader. That's what I'm talking about. Can you go make the uh, artificial nose for Bigsy, please? <laughs> It'll uh, affect her uh, social score. <laughs> Not having it, and she has kind of a she's kind of has some aspiring social skill. Bulk traders should be able to sell and buy quite a lot, so even our ducks, for example. Okay, so we're selling all of the ducks. Well, not all of the ducks. Oh, it's many ducks. Fifteen hundred fungus. <laughs> Let's make that a little bit more, shall we? Right, I'll make it. Uh, I'll make it sixteen hundred fungus. Uh, to minus, selling some milk, buying a ton of neutral I mean, selling some scyther blades, broken ones. Buying a ton of components and advanced components, selling unneeded leathers, buying reinforced barrel just to kind of store that wealth, plus later for mortars, and selling some extra beer, selling the tox pack, and then we're good to go. We're good to go. Pretty big trade because of the inspired trade. We get some extra nice rates on them, so pretty, uh, pretty huge. Look at all that neutral. I mean, we're gonna have to start making medicine or drugs. We we'll want to uh, research. We we'll want to research some of that. I think. There's 30 components, we'll get those stored. Huge trade! And look at all the ducks go. <laughs> look at them all go! There's the duck exodus once more. Just letting the ducks breed. Turns out to be pretty profitable. Apparently Medium considers Kiwi Gal a rival. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Physically unsightly. Oh, because she's not very pretty. That's a bit hot. Medium? Kids can be so cruel. What the hell? Microelectronics. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. All right. We're going to start work on gunsmithing. Uh, we're going to work our way over to some mini turrets. Some more automated defenses would be good so that our colonists aren't getting shot at so much. So we can put a bunch of mini turrets along our walls. That could well help keep us alive a bit more. Can we get advanced lights? It's real cheap. Colored lighting. <laughs> um... Seems hardly necessary, but it would be kind of cool though. All right, I'll do you this. Seems a bit unnecessary, but sure, let's go. <laughs> oh, it changes the color of standard electric lamps and reduces their power consumption by half. 
Oh, that's cute. So there is a little upside to it. Nice. You want an RGB cave? <laughs> I was thinking about changing them over to like a warmer light color. Except maybe like the lab areas or something. Game of Fortress. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm missing... I'm missing... Uh, an important point though we uh just got microelectronics research and i haven't done anything with it yet um so now we need to build an auto bong obviously <laughs> no <laughs> we need to build a comms console and we also need to look towards getting a high-tech research bench soon to travelers seek charity oh okay they're begging for 700 silver i'm pretty sure i don't have that much silver do i do we want to help them out 700 silver hmm i don't mind getting rid of the wealth i don't mind ditching a bit of the wealth and maybe they uh, repay the favor at some point. Is that a kid, Itakin? They're pretty cute. <laughs> That's pretty cute. The Dawi have been known for their generosity. And they've been taking advantage of it for once. once. Here we go, is giving them the silver. There you go. Mechanitor can use the comms console to summon a Diabolos me Mechanoid. You can defeat, if you can defeat the Diabolos, it will drop a signal chip. What does a signal chip do? Mechanoid band synchronization microorgan, necessary to produce certain advanced types of mechanoids and equipment. Mechanitor can study this chip to help unlock higher tiers of mech tech research. Ah, oh, I see. Mech commander helmet. A plastive wheel combat helmet designed for battle mechanitors. Cool. And it increases back when mech bandwidth by six. So you'd, you'd get that tech, you'd get that helmet. And then you'd command like one of these things or something. Bandwidth cost two for a Scorcher. Pikeman is two as well. Ow. Tunneler. Uh-oh. Mechanoids from the Kill Light Mech Hive have arrived nearby. Oh god, we were talking about them, they hurt us. They're approaching from multiple angles. They're prepared for a while. Oh wow, I've never... never you don't get attacks like this very often from mechanoids. I've got some scythers on this side, which are probably going to kill our friends that we just helped. <laughs> so I guess we're getting that silver back. <laughs> Pretty sure we're going to get that silver back. The mech raids like this are new. There was a mod that did it, but yeah, I, I think that is... That is kind of new. In vanilla, new to vanilla. I don't actually know if you can get that sil silver back. And... Is there like one over here? So these are all scythers. That's not too bad. It said they'll prepare for a while. Okay, they're gonna go mill about. Well, sorry friends. This does not bode well for them at all. Oh god, they're not even fighting back. Oh no, travelers betrayed. I didn't betray the travelers. Colonists with charitable beliefs will be unhappy. <laughs> Thankfully that's not us. We don't actually have a char particular... Ch oh, we got our silver back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. The little squirrel child. Oh, God. It didn't even fight back. Well, there's our silver. We get our silver back. Uh, we're gonna the kids are injured, so we're going to leave them out of it. <laughs> it's not like I called the mechs on them. Then again, they might actually think that because we, I, we they saw us controlling mechs, maybe. Thought we'd bring a cougar down while we're here. <laughs> do a little bit of hunting. Do a little bit of light hunting while we're here. A little bit of shooting training. Bow versus robot. Uh, don't don't sleep on a great bow. A masterwork great bow. Twenty one damage at thirty range with nineteen armor penetration is better than. I should. Uh, I always learn this lesson and then I always forget it. But I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna set up a raid zone a hard raid zone so if we're uh being raided i only want you uh inside the walls make sure blurbo and the kids don't run out into the raid into the raid zone mechanoids are starting their assault all right good You have them carrying medicine, Ziggy? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I should have... I should have at least, um... Here we go, I'll carry some medicine. Light rate down, so over here. Okay, we'll both carry medicine as well. That's a good idea. I'd forgotten about that. I 
think now we go in. You can actually stun the Meganoids, can't you? They're not very sensitive, but you can so you can do that. I wonder if we let the robots take them or whether it's better to pull them back. <laughs> oh, oh shit. This might have been a mistake. They're a bit close. Uh, we shouldn't need a combat command for this one. Alright, we have to send the robots out. <laughs> Try not to die, Mr. and Mrs. Destructoid. No! <laughs> Mr. Destructoid died! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, lost your thorax, I see. Damn, nicely done, sorry, bro. Drop that thing. Shattered the fluid reprocessor with a great bow arrow. Nice. Whoa, shit. Repair that door. Oh, hold on, there's one right there. Okay, add that door. Add that door. Great bow shots, I love it. We're finally starting to actually get good combat. Remember remember where we started? Now we've got 10 shooting. We started with like, every, no one had higher than three shooting at the start. Wait, Bob, Bob, <laughs> what are you doing, Bob? Bob, not again. Every freaking time, Bob. Oh God, every time. Come on, Bob. He's, too, he's hanging in there. He's lost a leg. Fight back, Bob. Fight back. He's down. No, Bob. Here comes Mr. Constructoid. He's coming to die as well, apparently. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's go deal with the other side. There's one, uh, one out here too. He's been hacking away. One of our little beep boops died. No. All right, good work, team. Good work. What does it take to resurrect? Uh, one corpse is in 25 steel. Okay, so you can do 25 steel to repair one if it's been down fully. We can revive it. We can rebuild it. <laughs> advanced lights has been finished. There you go. I got your advanced lights. Back onto gunsmithing. So now I can do this. Change color. Oh wow, you can like fully customize it. What color do we like the look of? Nice warm, a nice warm amber color. Red light. Boom, boom, boom. Red alert, red alert. <laughs> Go synth wave. Do some like a uh, pale, oh, that's too much. I quite like I quite like the pink actually. The pink looks awesome. <laughs> the pink looks kinda cool. Maybe I'll do a light pink. Cause then it kinda looks like dark light, but it doesn't look as rough on the eyes as dark light looks. Oh, it's so warm looking. It looks cool. And then this one's gonna be like bright lights. Lab lighting. Pretty cool, we can do some mood lighting. His lighting settings gotta be my favorite feature of this game. Looks so cool. <laughs> it does look really satisfying. I've never used it before. <laughs> I've never used this before. And I was gonna do these ones as as uh, raid lights, since this is like more of like military bunker. If freezer is empty, 
Um, it is very empty all of a sudden. Remember how when I had like 2,000 Nutrifungus? I sold like three quarters of it and now I have no food. I guess that was between growth cycles. Well, we have animals though. I just uh, killed a, few, a couple animals. Combat supplier. Ooh, trade ship going over by. Hey, our first space trade. Uh, oh, I, we need a uh, thing. We need a thing. You know, the thing. We need it. Don't ask me what the thing is. Just just know that we need it, okay? <laughs> I need this thing. Uh, I don't really have a great space for it, so it's just going to have to go in the middle. We can't sell stuff without the uh, orbital trade beacon. A horrible yellow color for the prison. <laughs> to, break, to break their will. <laughs> Conversion! Nice. Stanislav is converted to Deep Darwinism. Now, let me see about recruiting. EMP grenades are extremely helpful against robots. Um, that would be a worthwhile buy. Wooden plate armor. <laughs> it's worth 400 bucks, damn. I mean, I guess if I wanted to buy wooden plate armor, it'd probably cost me at least 400 bucks. Try not to eat the raw meat, please. Try not to eat the raw meat. Wait a second. Just wait a moment. And now, go have some meals. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I know you're hungry, but you can't even wait 10 minutes for the food to be cooked. You ever been that hungry, chat, that you just like... Someone pulls... There's, there's like steak in the fridge, and someone's like literally taking it to the kitchen to cook it. And you're just like, nah, too hungry. I've been close. <laughs> You've been close? Just tuck into the raw steak. So hungry. So hungry. Hmm. Okay, safeguarding an aristocrat. Apos, a knight of the Empire of Panos, wants to stay at Crack in a Crack for 19 days with one court ally. Nospus and his ally have been targeted for death and need a safe place to stay until they can purge their court. However, Nospus' enemies have somehow provoked mechanoids into hunting them. <laughs> a mech cluster of three times size will deploy nearby. Good heavens. I don't know, dealing with the three times size mechanoid cluster is a bit, um, a bit iffy though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think I want that one. I don't think I want that one. Come and give Richard his, Richard his new title, eh? Yo, 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 which is the sound that the bestowing ceremony makes, obviously. Yo, 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 yo. Digsy has an inspired trade. Ooh. Honorable bestowing ceremony, which gained uh, an additional two honor. Nice. Acolyte title gained. Mm hmm. New level of Psylink. And he needs a cape. He's so needy now. What power did you get? You got Neural Heat Dump. Instantly dump all of your Neural Heat into someone else. Side effect, the target will fall into a debilitating but non damaging coma. The target must actively accept the psychic invasion, so. Oh. It's only conscious allies can be targeted. Oh, that is not very helpful. All right, let's have a rock and all roll festival. 82% expected quality. Wake up, everyone. It's time for the rock and all roll. I need like a song to play for the rock and all rolls. But instead we just do this. They all, they all bring their rocks and their pebbles and begin grinding them and clacking them together for the Rock and Or Roll Festival. Woohoo! <laughs> and if it's a good one, perhaps another Dawi will find us. <laughs> Rock and Stone Party, let's go. Gunch, 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 gunch. Fun, Rock and Or Roll. Plus eight mood for six days. Great. We haven't had any joiners join us from any of those. Bad luck. It's 50% chance. So, a little unlucky. It's been a lot of fun. I'll uh, see you fine folks next time. Bye-bye.